Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Hello everyone, this is the North American Math Contest Go Go Go. This week we are going to estimate AMC 10A score by hand. So, this is the estimated score which the average should be lower and the AME and DHR should be a bit higher. Well, DHR should be much higher, I think. So let's now give our explanation. So this is the predicted graph, which is like this for the way, which is like this for the 2021 score. And this is the actual graph for the 2020. Uh, 10B. The reason I use 2020 MC 10B instead of 10A is that MC 10B has problem difficulty that is familiar with the MC uh, 2021 10A. Let's start. So, let's start with some key points. Key point one. There will be a certain percentage of people who get disqualified due to technical reasons. Um, the statistic is based on the AMC-8. AMC-8, the participant, is around this number, while around 4,000 people get zero points, which is that they get DQ'd based on some technical issues, like they ch change screens during the competition. Because this is the first year, or I think so, the first year that they are doing that. So, um, there must be a certain percent of people who get uh, zero scores, which is getting disqualified um, due to multiple reasons. But AMC 10, remember, we are already adults. So therefore, I think the percentage of this zero point should be around 1000 rich. We estimate that the total participant is should be based on the yearly score should be around two eight zero zero zero. So therefore there should be around three to two uh three percent of people who get um zero points disqualified. So they will push the average score down, remember. We don't know that what their really performance is. Uh, but they will definitely take the points down, 3% of people. Let's think about the first 10 problems. In general, except the problem 9, uh, which is getting, which requires people to think about some way, because in fact, without the solution of uh, trying to find the conjugation, which is 3 minus 2, you really need some calculation in order to get problem 9 right. Uh, which problem 9, it is going to be a difficult, uh, somewhat harder problem that should be below problem 10 to 20, the rest, and problem 7, which is a bit confusing and may get some people wrong. The rest of the problem should all be simple. So therefore, for the first 10 problems, most of the people should get 9%, uh, not problem 9, 9 of them correct. So therefore, most people would expect it to get 54 points on the first part. Based on the last year's status. So, which is higher than the last year. So therefore, I think the graph should be a bit translated to the right. The graph should be a bit translated. Uh, compared to the last year for the lowest, uh, lower performance students, which is the bottom 25%. Uh, the last year, the lower students cut off was 50. So this year should be around 44, 54 to 55, uh, which should be a bit lower, which is around 54-ish. You might ask me, Yes, 
So this is 54% of people right. But why you estimate the average just a bit higher than the this? Because don't forget there are people who get disqualified and people who get low marks, right? So therefore, based on this, I would uh, try to estimate this year's average lower, which is around 58, but not less, more than 60. Now let's continue to talk about the 10 problems. Uh, for the last 15 problems, it all depends on people's choice, uh, people's performance. Um, the 15 problems, they almost have the same, uh, the identical dif difficulty because most of them are required you to think for multiple minutes and uh, calculate for some while. So, in fact, we can say that if it gives you infinite number of times, if we give you infinite number of times, you definitely can get all 15 problems correct. But MC is a time thing, which they only allow you 75 minutes, I think so. Therefore, I think most people who perform on the last year will be the same as this year. Like most normal students like me who perform uh, the score on the last year should be similar to this year because last year is also a bit similar except the last five problem is a bit harder than much harder than this year's AMC 10A. So for the middle 10 problems, people who expected to score like a certain score on the last year should be similar for this year. Um... Therefore, for the middle score, it should be expected to be the same as the last year. Um, remember that the last year AMC 10B qualified score is 108. And this year, there should be a certain increase on the first 10 problem and the last 5 problem. Most students will get like one score more or something on this. So therefore, it will still be translated somewhat to the left, but not so much. I estimate that the AMC uh, 10A score is 105-ish. For the last five problems, it is easier than the last year. Problem 21, you can just... So that's why we are going to talk about distinguished honor row. Distinguished honor row refers to top 1% of students. The top 1% of students, they will get like a uh, good calculation, so therefore they will get most of the problems right. So the distinguished honor roll should be much higher than the last year, which is around 134 to 135. This score is pretty crazy, 135, because it means that you literally can only make mistakes at all, only two problems. This is 135 and this is 124.5. So, and again, this is a predicted graph I drawed. So, therefore, this is the conclusion I drawed, which is average 58 scores, Amy 105, and distinguished honor roll 135 points. Here we come to the end of our lesson, and I hope you have learned a lot. See you next week. Bye! In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!